Jocelyn, and I'm the Assistant Manager in Journals Marketing at Duke University Press. Um, yeah, my title is a multifaceted approach to international outreach, and I feel a bit like my grandfather because I'm starting with a Yogi Berra quote, which is, um, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. And I think this speaks to our um, kind of experimental um, approach and also our willingness to try several different methods in the same territories. For those of you who don't know, um, Duke Press is a nonprofit who publishes mainly in the humanities, social sciences, and mathematics. We publish 46 journals, um, about 120 books per year, and we have three main electronic collections. That's a math journals collection, a humanities and social science journals collection, and an e-books collection. Our content is hosted on several different platforms. Um, among these are eBrary, Highwire, and Project Euclid. Um, and this is one of the things that is challenging for us in working with international setting up trials. As far as staff resources go, um, I think of us as having a pretty small department. Um, we have two dedicated library relations staff, um, Kim Steinley, do you want to wave Kim? <laughs> He's here, um, as well as a woman named Beth Hoskins. We also have um, six journals marketing staff members that help support um, the library sales. Um, Leslie Eager, who's here with Kim, um, spends a lot of her time marketing to libraries. We also have three journals customer service representatives. I wanted to mention Project Euclid, which is a joint venture between Duke Press and Cornell University Library. It's an online content provider for math and statistics titles that's had a lot of success internationally, and I'll probably be um, pulling several examples from our experience with Euclid. Um, we work with Euclid um, to sell Euclid Prime, which is a subset of about um, 30 journals that we sell as a package. As far as our international reach goes, um, seven of our 46 journals have ed offices outside of the U.S. Um, we work with 20 international consortia and 15 domestic. Um, like News, we offer our content directly as well as through sales agents. We also have some content aggregators. Um, I learned recently that 40% of our customer service inquiries are now coming from outside the U.S., which is a big change in recent years. Um, we also attend a number of international library conferences. Um, I've got some stats here from DukeJournals.org, which is our um, primary humanities and social science journal platform. Um, so yeah, you can see here that the top five are all from English-speaking countries, um, and the others are you know countries where there's a heavy population of English speakers. I think the colors show up a bit better here. <laughs> here. I thought it was kind of a vision test at first. Um, as far as revenue goes, um, I have our, kind of the, the top ten places that we um, earn revenue. Um, Brazil is from a countrywide deal. And that's it for now. Thank you.